Manager for Waste Management World Magazine. We're here at the RWM show in Birmingham. I'm with Martin Cheeswell on the wrap stand. Martin, I understand you've been working on the European Pathway to Zero Waste. Could you tell us a little bit about that project? Sure, yeah. European Pathway to Zero Waste, it's a life-funded project, so it's part-funded by the sort of European Union, about, worth about 4 million euros, working, to, working between end of 2010 and the end of 2013. Okay. Um, we've got about eight work, work streams in there. Um, and main aim really is to facilitate ways to divert waste from landfill in the southeast of England. And what particular initiatives have you used to try and divert waste from landfill? Well, there's a whole series of initiatives you need to take. I mean, one of the initiatives, working back to front, you need to understand what the materials flow looks like. Yeah. Uh, so one of the sort of work streams we're looking at is working with partners in the southeast, particularly local authorities, to actually work out when, where waste materials are rising and then what we can actually do with them, where we can put the infrastructure. Um, there's another sort of work stream that's actually working at the front end, which is looking, working with local authorities' procurement. So actually setting things like green procurement and uh, you know, sort of actually getting the, the, the front end, the, 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 uh, the requirements for these sort of materials. Um, we've also got some waste protocols, which define the end of, you know, the, the, the point where a waste material could be used as a, as a product or a, a raw material. Um, and we're working with uh, industry effectively to develop three of those. And what sort of response have you had from industry? Um, they are very, very interested. And in fact, uh, I mean, the, the sort of big interest is coming from, the, for instance, the National Grid, um, because they want one of the one of the work streams we're working on is is biogas, yep. and they're wanting to be able to use biogas effectively to input into the grid. So, um, yeah, really interested in getting the, the, the right criteria and the right quality standards in place. I understand you've also been doing some work on commoditizing waste and how it can be um, set up an exchange system for uh, moving waste? Yeah, currently there's, there's quite a few waste exchanges in, yeah. in, in England and Wales, but when you look across into the USA, um, so we, we, what we've done previously, the USA tried to start up a what's called a commodity market. Yeah. The difference being we weren't actually trading waste between a producer and a, uh, a user. We're actually sort of creating a material that then would be traded as a commodity market. Yeah. So, you know, any future user would go on and get X million tons or X thousand tons of material at a certain price, but they wouldn't know where it was going to arise. Now, that takes a whole series of standards and a whole series of, sort of efforts to put in place. And one of the things that particularly RAP, one of our partners, is, is actually working with is putting the infrastructure in place or working out the infrastructure that would need to be put in place to get a commodity market running. We then hope to work with some industry to actually start start this, this process off. And how far is that from coming to fruition? Well, at the moment, we're actually we just let the, the sort of contract to start start the process. Um, I mean, we've we've actually got a report out. It's on our website. Um, one of the reports is what you'd need to do. The next report tells you what we've currently got. The, this particular stage that we're starting on now is actually saying, well, what sort of quality standards? How would they be put into place? What sampling? What sort of confidence you'd need? And basically, what sort of numbers of companies you'd need, both either producing and also using, to make a, you know, a real commodity market? At what sort of point do you think the critical mass will come? Where there's a tipping point where it's, it becomes viable? Um, I think the, the, the tipping point comes. I don't think it's particularly a number. Um, you do need sort of more than sort of single figures. Yeah. Um, it's more a case of when the thing starts to take off itself. When, when users can, can go on and be assured that A, when they go in, there will be material available, and B, there's enough producers of that material to start giving competition in the marketplace, right. rather than it being a one-on-one a, a -on -one contract. Um, you, we're expecting you'll always get some outside contracts on, on that particular part, but, uh, but yeah, it's, it's probably dependent on product. The, one that we're, the, the product we're looking at at the moment is, is actually wood. We're actually sort of looking at wood, not the, the very high quality wood, but the next level down. Wood waste. Wood waste, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Excellent. Martin, it's been a fascinating insight. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much.